Yo, what's up beautiful people? Chris coming to you, another one of my crazy crossroads. Big Joey C, my fellow Carolinian, is here with me as usual. Um, day two of uh, our bright future. It's weird, right? Uh, yeah, okay, so... <laughs> Alright, I'm almost just, just gonna let this roll. That's crazy. Dude, what is that? No, seriously. Okay, so we're in this really creepy old abandoned home that uh, there was contractors that actually told us they wanted us to come check it out. Um, they're tearing this house, another house next to us. There are like five houses all together. Um, we have access to this one and the one next door. The other two are completely off limit, um, so we can't go into those. But they said all of these, especially this one, um, when they've been working on them, they hear some crazy stuff. Um, we've been through the house, as you guys might have already seen. We put up some pictures. So as we were just kind of in here playing around before the sunset, uh, <laughs> it's, it's creepy. So anyway, I digress. We will see you guys in about two seconds on the inside. Did our intro we've been in like i said a little creepy you gotta hear some really creepy stuff now there's the other house over here now this is right off of a main highway and i believe one of the reasons why they're tearing these houses down and i don't know if you can see over here there's another house there there's one in the back and then one in that corner um is uh they're going to be expanding expanding this highway maybe um, really, really cool, really creepy place. I'm going to kind of try and take you through this real fast to show you uh, what we're getting into when we walk in. So as you can see here, this looks like that might have been a front window. And this is the main entrance, the front door, doorbell. The doorbell is working. So walk in here, this looks like this is a nice little family room, living room fireplace that looks like it was closed off um, <clears throat> this room right over here um, I don't know what this was possibly an extra bedroom or a little study or something you see they had like a little faux fireplace there and this is kind of cool with this closet and a pass through. So I'm going to kind of just give a little introduction into the home, guys, before we get upstairs. Upstairs is where we. Upstairs is where it feels really creepy. So excuse all the noise. Look at this beautiful. It's a beautiful old home. It's like a dining room area. Oh, I don't know if I showed this house over here right now. I don't know if you can see it, but way over there is another house. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Man. It's definitely different now that it's dark out. I know, it's definitely a lot different. It's weird, there's like personal stuff still left in here. Yeah. Do 
you just feel something? So this is the kitchen, obviously. It's very cool. So in the back here, this could have been like a laundry room or something. Now, off of the back, there is a garage, and then there looks like there's an occupied house back there. So that deck you can't really step out on because there's nothing to step on. Sorry guys, huh? Okay, so they spent $21 on those drapes, as I was just saying, and we shut off for a second, so. This is like a little bedroom. I mean, this is tiny. I do want to take a second too to tell you I gotta pull out my phone here tell you about the toilet so apparently there was like some air or something like that in the toilets of the last video that I shot um, so I just wanted to thank everybody that commented on that and then there was something that I have to find on here I'm trying to find I'll cut this part out I think I'm the live video mm -hmm. I, I made. There was uh, someone that made a comment about you and I, mm -hmm. and uh, they said that they show their hundred and one year old grandmother our videos, and she loves them and looks forward. Oh, to that's why I did see that comment yeah. too. Isn't that cool? So, and I'm sorry, I meant to. I believe her name is Daisy. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But um, your granddaughter sent sent that, and that just melted my heart. I think that's the sweetest thing. Thank you so much and I hope you're happy, safe, healthy and we wish you the best and this kiss is for you. Love you guys. Sorry, I just it just hit me and I apologize for Yeah, this is cool. I like this. I like this little path through pass through. Oh, I've already been here. Look, twenty-one ninety-nine. Watch out! What the? What was that? Did something just like? Did you just fell? get it? No. That was, dude. That was right here. That was. It was one of these rooms. Was, no, I mean, it was right on top of us. Was it this thing? Could it this thing? What the hell? <laughs> it was a loud crash, and I don't know what it was. It could be something falling over, but that's kind of what we heard when we were doing Chris's intro. A loud bang like that. Hmm? No, but... Alright, so there's, there's no way something fell off of this yeah, closet. Where, if any of this place may be haunted, I feel it would be up there because... When we were up there shooting our intros, huh. Joe thinks it was out here, but I hope I got her name right. I'm so sorry, guys. There's a. This 
really touched me. Okay, so this right here is creepy upstairs. Dude, that's what I was just saying. Upstairs is really know, creepy. Dude. It could be because it's so close to anything. I didn't say a single thing. So this is the closet I did the intro in. Oh, look at this. I didn't see this before. Pad without the wings, no wings on that. <laughs> no. It's not a thing either. <laughs> so, right, is there? Wait, wait. We got. Yeah, they did say that. He said he heard, he heard banging before we heard something doing the intro. <clears throat> yeah. What was that? Is it you? Yeah, probably. I just, I'm getting settled. Did, I just sighed. So excuse the road noise, but hey, you know what, Chris? Yeah. There's these drawers are filled and stuff. So I'm wondering if this place supposedly may have a haunting. I wonder if we could use any of that like a trigger type object. Okay, this. They definitely have a lot of NMS and C. I mean, there's that drawer too. Is this what it is? Oh, soap? Soap. It's an unopened bottle. Creepy stuff. Everything just seems so creepy <laughs> when it's abandoned, you know? Yeah. 
go to somebody's house and just look around. And it's not really that creepy, but as soon as there's nobody living in there, a little bit of mold and mildew, it gets a little creepy. Should have asked him. We should have asked him, Joe, if this was the uh, murder row thing. It's a little strange. Hey, what was that? I have no idea. Didn't you just hear a bang? You didn't hear me? <laughs> I didn't hear me. I, I heard something move. Did you? I just assumed you were doing something back here. Yeah. I want to think, would you agree that the upstairs of this place seems the scariest? Yeah. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's the only real, I mean, I don't know, but that whatever we heard down here before, mm -hmm. that was, uh, that was loud. And Why don't we go upstairs, put on the red light and the necrophonic app? Let's do it. I think it was an elderly woman that lived here. That's what it appears by the uh, stuff up behind. Well, I wonder how old she is if she's still using those. Uh, Probably very old. Without the wings. Well, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> there could have been her daughter. No, I just, you know, I don't know if, like I said, this there was a history on one of these on one of these highways of houses that they dubbed as murder row but to be quite honest this is like i do hear i hear little things but nothing nothing major. nothing crazy yeah nothing nothing crazy so i wonder if the necrophonic app may give us some clues i'm sweating like crazy right now it's not here. All right, actually, you know what? Can you hold this for me while I take this sweatshirt off? Yeah. Whew, I'm dying. Appreciate it. Sorry. Yeah, take it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right. It's, it's cold outside. Yeah. It ain't cold in here. Letting the sexy out. Yeah, look at all that sexiness. Mm. You look like a pear squeezed into a. <laughs> uh, Squeeze into a sandwich bag. All right, let's. Uh... All right, so we're gonna do this thing here. Nothing but a chicken wing. Here, is there a haunting here? I mean, these 
these people that reached out to us seemed adamant that this place is haunted. So yeah, let's uh, let's give it a whirl. Let's right? do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm game. All right, so. And we are going to be, um, I'm taking Joe to the uh, house on the hill here really soon. Yeah. So stay tuned. Yeah, we have so many great videos. Stay Not tuned. Not to mention, we're going to film the other place tonight, too, so we got so much to yeah. do. Um, all right, so should we go as limited light as possible? Oh, let me ask. You want to do that? Yeah. Let's see what we may pick up now. There's any spirits here? There's supposedly a haunting of something, according to these people who were working on this property. So maybe they can give us. Uh, there's a spirit, or maybe they can communicate with us through this. So let's see. All right, necrophonic. Um, and I always say necrophonic. I should be referring to the spirits if there are spirits here. Spirits here, you can try to communicate to us through this device, if you would. Is there something up here you want to make yourself known? This is your opportunity to be heard. House. God. What the hell is that? It sounded like a cat meowing. Who lived here? Are they haunting this place? You. You. It says you. Don't be sarcastic with me. Bitch. Is this something about nap? Can you tell me? So the people that are working on this property to, to demolish this, who are you? Are you trying to contact? Anything you want to share with us at this point? You two of them died? I'm not sure. Alright, good night. Shut it off for one second. I want to show you some how freaking scary this is. Okay. Look how freaking scary that is. Watch. So I came over here and I felt like there was something right here, Joe. Let's see. And that's when I get the better. chills. Give me a little more left. <laughs> that's funny. What was that? It's a... I just felt like somebody moved. I just swear I felt like somebody just moved. Oh. Did you feel that a breeze, a cold breeze? Dude, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel good right here. I mean, I don't feel sick, but I just feel like. So the staircase could be, let's see if we, let me try to change this lighting. Oh, look how creepy this looks through here, man, with this lighting. Oh my goodness. It does look creepy, especially the wallpaper. Is there a spirit that wants to show themselves?
You just hear like a hoo. Mm-hmm. I think it's the thing. Like a like a like a Halloween ghost. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, we just <laughs> we just heard something go. Kind of funny thing, almost like, like what you would do it on a Halloween. <laughs> Dude, I have a wow. I mean, I am got a really creepy feeling. Hey, man, what was that? I don't know, dude. I've got a really bad feeling like somebody's right in here with us. What was yeah. that? What did you hear? I just heard like a like a loud sigh. Like you know how we just heard something just went. <laughs> I didn't hear that. It it was it sound like it was down here because possibly could have been me too. I don't know if no, I just. It sounded said. like it was behind me. You okay? I'm okay. I'm just dude. I feel I'm kind of scared. Yeah. All of a sudden. Okay, so. This is really freaked out. I'm feeling more. I don't really know why. I mean, it just feels like a presence. Like, you know, when it just feels like somebody's behind you all the time. And then it just feels like somebody's going to pop out out of nowhere. Road noise does not help anything. Especially when it's dark outside. I'm gonna go check out like the garage and stuff. Be careful because there's a house back there. Yeah. All right, and I'm going to cut off for two seconds because uh, the tape's going to cut and I got to take a little bathroom break, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. Sorry, I had to use the restroom. Um, I uh, <clears throat> just want to take a second here to uh, talk to you guys and tell you once again how happy I am to have Joe and, um, and Rob uh, living here. I mean, Holy cow, right around the corner. Uh, it's great. It's going to help me tremendously mentally. Um, I know I've said it before, but you know, after, after the, all this garbage that's happened last year, um, and I know we're all going through it, so everybody's got their own thing, and I'm not, not pity me, but uh, it's just a, it's a big weight to use the analogy. Like uh, the first time you go to the gym, and uh, you throw 225 pounds on the, on the bar and go to lift it, you're not lifting it, it's heavy. Um, but you work and you work and you work every day, all of a sudden you're lifting that weight off of you. Um, the weight's still heavy, but it just makes it that much easier. Um, so, in a roundabout way, every day it's getting easier for me to lift that weight off of me, but that weight's still there. And uh, I just, I need, I need uh, distractions, I need motivations, I need things to uh, help me get through each day. Uh, still got to deal with that weight, but uh, it's getting a lot easier. And I mean, we're only a couple days into having these guys here and um, it's great. It's, it's incredibly great. I mean, I'm happy I've, and I'm happy every day, but like I said, that the weight's still there. But I digress, I'm sorry guys. I'm just going on a little bit, but uh, to be honest, you guys are the only ones I talk to. Um, this camera really helps me, and uh, I haven't I haven't been taking it out to uh, to uh, talk to you guys enough lately. So uh, within this 
Um, we'll be talking more, guys. So thank you again. I love all you guys. Um, I hope I got Daisy's name right. But Daisy, if you're watching, I'm telling you, I love you. The other, uh, my buddy Frank, Big Frank, out in Vegas. I know your mom watches the videos too. I love you too, honey. Mrs. Uh, DiCapolo, I believe is how you say uh, your last name. I hope I didn't butcher that either, but love you guys. All right, let's get back out here and see what's going on. See, I feel better. I feel better doing that, talking to you guys. All right, so Joe just went, I believe, out back. Um, it's loud, so let's let's go and see if we can find anything back here. I'm gonna go off with this and flashlight on. Let's try this. Turn this puppy off. Turn this light on. So this other house is completely torn apart. And I think that might be where Joe is right now. Like the, all the walls are torn off of it. So everything we were doing here is gonna be loud. But this was the house right here. And I tell you, I feel like something was right on top of me. Well, I'm sure they, uh, I'm sure with, uh, Roy will probably get it, you know? Yeah, just to be on the safe side, though. Okay. I'm going to intro up and do this other place now because we can get another video. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. This one's going to be loud, too, but, you know, it'll be yeah. good. Yeah. But, yeah, let's do it. All right. Um, I'm going to yeah. do my intro right here. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So let me, uh, let me just sign off for this. Oh, where's my light, Joe? <laughs> there you go. All right. Let me just do this, guys. That's it. I'm doing it. But uh, I had fun. This was cool. Was a, did you get a little creeped out at all in there? So, I, I, more so than creeped out, I felt like kind of like, I mean, anytime you guys go into a derelict abandoned place, it's creepy, it's scary, it's spooky. Is it haunted? I mean, that's a I think tough we one. heard a couple things. We'll find out, I guess. I don't know. I can't definitively I know, say. I know. There's, I just, to me, it felt like there was something on top of us. But that could right. just be adrenaline and expecting stuff. And, right. you know, how you could scare yourself just by that. But yeah. um, that being said, guys, we're going to cut out. We're going to go right next door to this other building I was just showing you. Do another video in there. So we're going to just kind of say goodbye and then say hello again. It's Big Joey C. I love it, man. I'm so pumped. Guys, so I love fun. you guys. Everything, once again, check it down in the description. Share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Deuces. There's somebody talking real close to us. That looks like right here. There is clear talking right here. Clear talking. So we think somebody's here. All right. I'm just gonna roll with this. What's up guys, Chris, coming to you. Another one of my crazy crossroads, Big Joe, we see. We're at uh, house number number two. We just cut off from the first house and heard it was clearly a guy. I'm just going to roll. That's my intro. Dude, that was right here. And, and angry, too. All right, so this is the house we're going into. But... Yo! Hey, guy! Hey, guy!
No. No, it's just as dangerous. Oh boy. Okay, Joe, Joe's camera just caught it. So there's clearly something going on here. So here's the deal. We're thinking that maybe... It could maybe be. we just made one video tonight and this is going to be... The <laughs> yeah, video. yeah, because we can't. Um, here's... That's Let weird. Let me show you around here real quick. And there was somebody talking, man. This is uh this is creepy. This is really weird. It sounded so like muffled too, Joe. Uh, it sounded like it was coming over a loudspeaker. Yeah, but not. <laughs> right? Like it was and it wasn't. Yeah. Like it was a Mr. Microphone. Dude, I'm creeped. I'm really like creeped out though, because so we ju I just went around. Guys, I'm gonna try to chop this up a little bit to see. Um but this is a... Uh... Yeah, with that, be careful, because there's a ton of asbestos in there, buddy. I can smell it already. What the hell was that, man? Joe got it on camera. I know, dude. I'm telling you, that's the craziest <laughs> thing. We just got done filming, saying the other place wasn't really haunted. Well, we didn't go there. So I think what we're probably going to do is that one video that's going to be up there in the first video. But we're going to look around here first, and this is insane. Dude, that was the clearest voice I ever heard. I mean, absolutely clear voice. So when stuff like this happens, or has happened, like in Florida, I don't get as creeped out. It's still more comfortable in Florida. What the hell was that noise? I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, I, I could, I, I don't know, I said we go back in the garage and finish this up. Yeah. Maybe, or you want to get out? What do you want to do? Oh, I, I mean, yeah, let's, let's Maybe something. something, I mean. In that garage. It's something, let's see. What the heck? Alright, we're gonna go back in the garage and see if we can get this voice again. Oh, what I is mean, this? It's incomprehensible. What is this? Oh, there's somebody coming. See that light? Definitely creepy stuff going on here, but it doesn't make any sense at all. This makes no sense. So I, I cranked on, I turned it off, and then Joe's doing another intro, and we're just all messed up. We're all befuddled, if you will. And uh, as Joe's talking, boom. Oh, hey, Joe, watch uh, your light on that back house there, because that's occupied, you know? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. see that one over there? Yep. So, I don't want to startle people. All right, we're going to sit here for a minute and see if we can pick up that voice again. The craziest thing, now, I heard disembodied voices in my ears before. I heard things. That was it, it insane. It sounded like something was like in here going, what are you doing? That was really strange. I don't know what they were saying, I'm just giving an example. That was really... 
That was really weird. Oh. Yeah, I think we'll just throw it all on one, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. We may get five different outros and six different intros and just kind of sitting here waiting for that noise. Yep. This is this is weird. This is weird. I, I just uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna just gonna kind of let this roll and uh, see if we hear anything. And if not, I'm just gonna cut it off. So once again. Uh, I'm gonna have some music rolling right now, but uh, <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm just gonna play out some music after the outro. Um, once again, guys, check out everything down below in the description. Like, share, subscribe, please. Uh, let's let's grow this channel. That being said, guys, I love you very much. We'll see you next time, deuces. But I'm just gonna let this roll out.